Hi everyone, welcome to another review of a OBD2 reader. This time it's going to be the Autofix 7810. It's a uh, low budget reader compared to the my previous video of the Autofix 7910. Uh, I'll be going over the unboxing and uh, what's the difference between the 7910 and the 7810. And why is this a, a little cheaper compared to the 7910 reader. Okay, let's get right to the unboxing. It's the regular plastic box. Gonna open this up from here. Let's take out this whole section. Alright, let's right to the side. And here we go. Let's see, open it up. It's gonna be the reader. Comes with a USB. Put that over to the side. And I believe here we have a manual. Yes, so this one comes with a manual. Pretty much tells you what the functionalities are. Displays, other faults will read. manual honestly guys this one it feels very sturdy here is the USB in a few minutes we're gonna go ahead and uh, test this out on our vehicle I'm gonna test it on a BMW E60 model and see how this works uh, if you could check my previous video out and compare between the 7910 which I will be going over in a few minutes or the difference between them so guys, as I said, uh, we have gone over this and some of the big difference that you're gonna get between this uh, 7810 and the 7910 model, uh, the only difference I see it's uh, the TP MS reset and the oil reset. That's pretty much what it cannot do. Everything else as in the 7910 model, uh, this can do. So all your reset of uh, like a clear road, uh, clear uh, codes, read code, diagnose your ABS, SRS, the IM uh, readings. Uh, the only thing also it cannot do is the, the bi-directional testing. The ABS uh, bleeding, we can do. So if you do that, do that, you can do it. You could take care of that. ECU reset, that uh, you could do that also with this uh, reader. So pretty much overall, uh, the 7810 and the 7910, it uh, can do the same exact thing, but this one you could get it a few dollars less if you buy it from online. Uh, and is, uh, the only and one of the similarities I've seen that uh, that uh, it could take care of most of your problems. And uh, this one you get a few dollars less, and um, it, it's a little bigger than the 7910, but overall sturdy, and uh, the build quality is uh, very good. Uh, I'll be showing you next is uh, once I plug this into my vehicle, uh, what it does. Okay, guys, so we're gonna be connecting our OBD2 reader. Here it is. Powered on. Alright, guys, so we have uh, successfully connected our um, Autofix 7810 connect uh, to the our OBD port. Um, here is how the interface look like. Uh, let's go click in the uh, quick scan here. I am. See what it does, and it gives you pretty much if anything's wrong with this prop plug and uh, any DTC issue or uh, uh, misfire. So let's go back. Um, we'll click the exit. So it's for BMW. So you can click the enter. Okay, it tells you if you can uh, may not be uh, compatible with all systems. Let's see what it does. Enter. All right. Uh, so we're we gonna go for this one and enter. Now we gotta choose um, the BMW I have. It's the five series. Enter. 
the model I have is the E60, which is the 2003-2010. As you can see, they have up to 2017 and present the F90, the F18, and all other models. So let's just go through it first, see what else models I got. They got the E39, E60, 61, F07, F10, F11, F18, 90. G30, G38, 11, and 12, until present. So let's connect to our E60. Enter. Now let's do a erase all fault codes. You have option of special functions, but let's just do the basic uh, functions and click enter. And we're gonna do system scan. Before we do that, um, some of the, as you can see, I have the airbag, airbag light and the seatbelt light on. Uh, we'll go through this in a few minutes uh, and let's do the scan system scan okay you're scanning through all the systems all right there you go dsc stability control you got a issue to all right and the instrument cluster airbag as you can see the airbag light was on and let's see if he finds any other issues all right as it's going through all the module the driver seat module the con controller okay you have the the night vision camera okay and this con controller is almost is at 86 percent almost there and we have the door driver the audio system there we go so here it is so the issue found is dsc dynamic stability control and airbag malfunction okay so this is the main reason i bought this uh, scanner to see if this uh, low budget scanner, if it can do what uh, the auto fixed, uh, the higher end, which is the 7910 model can do, uh, which is uh, on these BMW 60 of this uh, code, which is the passenger restraining system malfunction. Sometime what that is, is the, your, the, the seat belt restraining system, you get a um, malfunction. It could be either a lot of reasons. It could be the seat tensioner. I've seen a lot of people go through this and uh, they'll go ahead and change the whole seat, uh, the seat belt con uh, restraining system, the whole uh, the tensioner. They go, go, they go through a lot. So, but what I realize it's uh, these these controllers, these uh, OBD2 scanners that are budget friendly. You can purchase these for uh, very low cost. Uh, these ones, I believe, I got this um, off online. Uh, for approximately sixty dollars, uh, compared to the the higher end model, which is the seven nine ten, you'll pay more probably close to hundred and hundred plus, or sometimes you get it in a good deal, maybe ninety dollars. But like I said, I just want to see the budget. Day, so stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna be going over this uh, airbag restraining system malfunction. See if we can use this uh, seventy ten to get rid of this issue. So it could help a lot of people out uh, without changing anything else. Alright, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the like button.